So I'm here at the Autodesk stand here at IBC 2011. I've got Mark with me who's going to give us a little overview of uh, what Autodesk have been showing here uh, at IBC. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on with you guys at the show. Sure. Well, uh, you know, IBC is a great show for us. It's where we get to focus on our post-production and finishing products. Uh, and this year we're showing off the subscription advantage pack and extension releases of Smoke for Mac uh, and Flame Premium, the 2012 extension releases. So that's great. It gives uh, a few creative tools, uh, some new stereoscopic blending modes, some new flame effects tools. We've also added support for the uh, Red Epic camera, also export for ProRes and Smoke for Mac. So it's a, just a, a little bump in the release schedule. It gives people some added functionality. And uh, obviously, it's a busy stand. You've got, you've got things going on. Uh, there's going to be some people who haven't made it to IBC. Uh, if they want to find out a little bit about what you were showing here and all the, uh, the announcements and things that you're, you, you've released here, I'm assuming they can go to a website. Where else will they find you? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the ultimate thing to do is go to area.autodesk.com. That's our community site, and that has all kinds of product information. But if you also add slash IBC 2011 to that address, you'll be able to see all of the things we're doing here at the show on demand. So we're recording every demo. We're recording uh, lots of different interviews with people, things that are happening at the show, uh, and we're putting those all up for view on demand. And a couple of the standout things to look for, I think, are uh, a 2D to 3D conversion workflow. This is great because people have all of this uh, monoscopic content. They need to turn it into stereoscopic content. And we're showing a workflow where you're able to use uh, Autodesk Maya, uh, Autodesk Flame Premium, and Autodesk Flare in a, in a really interesting workflow that lets you uh, really efficiently break a project down, uh, do uh, essentially re-dimensionalize, so you know, not just flat cards, but really take that into the to 3D space and deliver a great looking uh, final stereoscopic project. So we're pretty excited about that one. And then the other one I'd say that's very popular is everybody wants to know a little bit about uh, Smoke for Mac. We've had a lot of traction with this project, or this product, uh, and all of those demos are up online as well. Great, Mark. Thank you. Uh, I'd certainly advise going to the website and having a look. Uh, we've got the website down. I'll, I'll assume I'm putting it at the bottom of the video. It's going to be right here. Um, that's the one. Uh, this is it from the Autodesk uh, stand here at IBC. Obviously, keep track of what we're doing here at broadcastshow.com.